Uh, again, everyone. Apologies for the last part. Apparently the, uh, the audio decided to stop recording. It was still playing over my monitor, so I was humming along to the tunes the whole time. Probably sounded like a damn fool every time I went doo 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 doo. Anyway, uh, I fixed those audio problems. I'm back with part five, I think. Yeah, five. Uh, hopefully I am getting pretty close to wiping out everything in uh, Legend of Zelda that is available to me right now. And then I can move on over to Metroid again, having just gotten the uh, Space Jump and Varia boots, I proceeded as far as I could. I think the next time that I can open up anything, I'll need the Gravity Suit or Speed Booster, and the Ice Beam I still have to get. Uh, and here in Link to the Past, I am in Turtle Mountain. I still haven't beaten Eastern Palace, which is theoretically the first dungeon of the game. Because I only just got the bow now. Um, I'm going to go and finish off the boss of Turtle Rock, and then pick up a few items that I know that I've missed coming through here. Uh, and then jump back over to the Light World, where I will go and wreck the Armosa's day with my newly acquired bow. I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to start my timer, and let's get going. Okay, there we go. Are you excited? I'm excited. I want to try to finish this today, because tomorrow I go for surgery at 1pm. Uh, it will be nasal surgery, so I probably won't want to be on camera. I will probably not want to do much of anything social tomorrow. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, I also looked up the boss strategy because I was getting really frustrated with not being able to just spam a bunch of spells at him. Uh, apparently you use the spells to pause the heads, and while they're orange, you beat them up with a sword. And since I've got the golden sword, it should be pretty easy. One would think. Um, again, I'm using save states. Uh, I am using a tracker. Uh, this is the randomized Legend of Zelda and Super Metroid mashup. If you haven't seen it before, samus.link. Uh, you can play the exact same game that I've been playing this whole time if you want to use the seed that I have listed below. Otherwise, get your own randomized seed. Try your own. That's pretty fun. I've been enjoying this playthrough. Um, I'm going to save and I'm going to go take on a boss. I'm going to go for his ice head first, because the slipperiness bothers me. That was a lot easier than I did last time. If you watched me do it last time, I was basically just pounding away at the guy with the ice rod, and that's it. Oof. And already... I need to get one of these out, because this guy was hitting me hard. Oof. And now he should break out of the shell. And... Get ready to hit him. Oh. Watch Jason fail at doing normal things. <laughs> Still got him though. Can I get the compass? Hooray! Now I can see where stuff is. Turtle Rock cleared.
And now I go back in because there's more stuff. We all like stuff. Do I know where any of the stuff is? Nope. Let's find out. So first off, I missed a whole room on B1. Another one on B2. Probably on B3 as well. Um, there is an exit here on B2 that I need to go out. And then mirror. Is that the place I'm supposed to go? No, I don't think so. It might be on B3. Um, well, I'll do some exploring. This is definitely not the place. <sighs> Still gets me. Gotta be so mean, Bow Wow. I would like to try to go north from here, I believe. Which I don't think I can get from that set of pipes. I can go south here. Let's see what south er. This, this whole area I have not been to at all. I select an empty bottle instead of the mirror. Okay, so it's in front of here. This is the only mirror locked cave. <laughs> and conveniently, I have a bow now. Thank <laughs> you. 
power bomb. Okay. Click that off. Mark off that I have done the in the cave, finally. I kept talking about having to do. find out what's in this big chest. The map! Huzzah! Now I can see all the places I haven't been. Which is one room. That's not right. It's also a room right there. Oh no, that's stairs down. Right, that's one of those few areas in the game where they have a stair that leads straight forward instead of curves. Alright, so there's exactly one room I haven't visited. Who wants to bet there's nothing in it? Me, I'll bet. Still gotta go, though. Is this the right way to do it, though? Yeah, I think so. I feel like those little, uh, mice things are trying to tell you something. I honestly don't know what to do in here. <laughs> A while ago, I couldn't pull those. Now, well, I don't need it. You may also notice this ROM hack does not have a limit of 9.99 rupees. Who like a boss? I believe that's everything for this dungeon. Let me again check off some things on my tracker. At some point or another I have to go and activate the flute. You're asking me why I'm not calling it an ocarina? It's because it's called flute in the game. Sure, it's, it looks like an ocarina, like in every other game, but they call it a flute. You should always call people things that they prefer to be called. Heck, I have trouble calling people by their real names when I find out what they are when I've known them on the intertubes by a certain name for forever. Shout out to Sai and Bug Girl and Jade and
So, can I get out of here by porting out? And jumping off this cliff. Yes, excellent. So let's go take on the first dungeon of the game. Aren't you excited? It's like we're really finally getting to start. save myself some grief. I'm gonna go and activate the, uh, the flute at Kakariko Village. And that way I won't have to hoof it so often. back and forth with that shovel. The Song of Duckening. Airways. Now, uh, apparently there's exactly one time that you can use it in the Dark World, and you're also supposed to get a new point up at the top right part of Death Mountain if you go there after you've activated it. Mark off that up. Ooh, that actually opened up some things on my tracker. Apparently in this, you can't get into Misery Mire or one particular cave in the desert without being able to warp there. That makes sense, because point six on this map is actually up on a cliff. <sighs> But I want to go take on Eastern Desert first. Eastern, you know, place. With Sarasra, the guy. Sarasra. I said it a billion times before. Sarasra. Okay, and now that I'm going into Eastern Palace with full health, I should be able to easily take out all the bad guys in there, considering this is the first dungeon. And I have full armor, full shield, and a gold sword. But the most important thing is, I have a stick with a string on it. Mm -hmm. 
Way back at the beginning of the game, I think I came through here and I tried to take a bunch of chests. Got as far as I could. Let me check my map. I didn't even get the map in here. Oh well. I can even make mistakes and I don't even care. Just tank through them. Nice to use arrows again. But that same sort of sense as when I first started the game and all I had was the two hidden sticks and then I finally got the sword. <laughs> I got the upgrade to the Master Sword almost immediately. I'm getting nostalgic about how this playthrough has gone. That's a little weird. I can't actually go through here, can I? Yeah, I have to go the other way. The right block is the only one that's pushable, and it's pushable in either direction. Don't have the big key, I don't believe. I do have the lantern, though. Somehow I had gotten into the second room here without the lantern. Blandly. Yeah, there was no way I was ever going to find that key. Unless I actually knew the Dark Room's dimensions and had some sword or something that I could use to see what I was doing. defeat with the arrow, which is why this dungeon is bow locked. Because I believe there's a room later that you have to kill all the enemies in. And one of them is a red armored dude. I shall continue forth. Chest. Hope it's something good. Gravity suit. Okay, I'm gonna wait to defeat these skeletons. Skeletons. Go away. Alright, now that I'm in relative safety, I will update. Gravity suit. a bunch over in Metroid, as expected. Pretty much told you last time. Once I got the bow, uh, once I was down to almost only uh, progress items, it'd pretty much be you get one, then you get the next, then you get the next, then you get the next. Still lots of power bombs to collect. Missiles. Probably bombs and arrow upgrades. Um bug catching net silver silver arrows not a whole lot in the way of um, heart containers though I believe there's only 24 heart pieces and 
I'd have to look that up. Anyway, let's go beat a boss. This is gonna be a pretty laughable curb stomp, I have to say. I couldn't have gotten through this room without the lantern either. I am going to take advantage of one of these guys as healing. scared. Got all the health of the world compared to when you first start the game. Yeah, this is the place where it's actually locked because of this guy. And this guy too, I guess, but there might be a switch underneath one of these. Just prepping you for the boss battle. And as though I need it, I'm going to save. Once again, 90% of the time that I'm saving, it's not because I'm... Wait, I need to know. Okay, so arrows are probably a better idea. Even with the gold sword. It could be them. real quick, make sure that I have gotten everything I have not. I actually missed a few rooms. <laughs> Alright. Mark off that I got an Eastern Palace. Maybe it's just a regular crystal. Somewhere we're still missing a pendant. Palace of Darkness must have the other red crystal. Or Misery Mire. Oh, I haven't done Misery Mire yet either. Okay. Uh, really quickly, I'm going to look up to see whether or not the randomizer has a specific number of heart pieces. So, 24 heart pieces total in the vanilla game. Looks like it doesn't change it, it just randomizes the locations. Alright, 
next up, let's go... Let's go to Misery Mire. Pick up that one item. The north of... North of the desert. I have access to Misery Mire, I should actually have access to more Super Metroid, too. There's apparently a warp there. Um, and I have the Gravity Suit, so I think the cleanup after this is going to be Misery Mire and then over to Metroid. Uh, I could also get to Palace of Darkness, which is over in the flip side of where I am right now. The Dark World Eastern Palace area. But I'm itching to go and take out this require. Is this what they call go mode? I don't know. I guess not, because I don't have all the crystals. So, on total count, I'm apparently missing one heart container. No. More than that. I'm missing two full heart containers worth of heart pieces. Which would bring me up to... 16. Which must mean that I am missing four full heart containers as well. Like, I sit here and tell you what to do? Alright, go find all the maidens. There are maybe, like, seven of them? I don't know anymore. I'm old. Hey, that's ageist. I know lots of old people. Plenty smart. Flying duck air. And I believe this should be a there we go. Welcome to the Dark Worlds version of a desert. Those of you who've been playing Link's Awakening on the Switch, since it's remaster, might recognize this. I believe this came first. Pretty sure. Got this sense in the back of my head that this was released before Link's Awakening. Pretty sure that's right. Okay, how do I do this? This way. That was an energy tank, is the important part. I'm just going to take a quick peek over here because I believe there is a place that you can only get to. Yeah, let's go up. Northeast corner of the mire. The tracker I'm using doesn't use very exact locations. Just sort of, ah. Right on top of that rock, thanks. Yeah. 
save it. Okay, that's just a missile, but... Yeah, because it was a piece of vanilla. That's why it was out in the open instead of in a chest. You know, they say vanilla like it's a bad thing. Like, you know, that's not a flavor. It's just a default. But vanilla is actually a flavor. It's just not as far as I'm concerned, a particularly great flavor by itself. Some people like it, so fine. Don't yuck somebody else's yum. So don't remember worth a damn. I think this is the palace you're supposed to get the hookshot in, and that's why a few places look like they require the hookshot to be able to get stuff. That gives me the sense that uh, I should do a bit more exploring first before I start going there. If you're not sure whether or not a wall is bombable, you can tap it with your sword. Rather than wasting your bombs, of which I have 45, so... Rocks. 
Like there's got to be someplace else I can get to in this place before going through the hookshot areas. There's got to be. until I find the switch. Another key. Just before that those spark guys kind of do a stair step on the on the curved walls. Curved diagonal. You knew what I meant. Yep, meant to do that. Meant to be a bunny. Fairy. Wait for them to come back. Thank you. Oh. They are a renewable resource. Still don't have a big key.
wasting all my magic against the guy that steals magic. Cool. Yay, I found a secret. Again, and again, and again. progress in here. puzzle. It's not really a puzzle, it's just... Oh. This is fine. You can stop now, I get the picture. Now I can't even remember what just happened. Four torches will open your way forward. Ah, uh, they moved this wall over.
That's just a room full of chaos for its own sake. I haven't used. I'm sure it probably hides the map somewhere. And I bet it is north of here. Across that low wooden bridge. The one that I couldn't get to before. Find you first. Ha, <laughs> speed booster. Nice. Mark that off. Yeah, we're basically going to be able to rip through the rest of Metroid. The only thing left for progression is the ice beam. Is the direction of that low hanging wood bridge. Nothing for me. All right. Now, how do I get back where I was? I forget. Yes. <laughs> 
Seriously, I don't remember at this point. I suppose. Oh yeah, I gotta go take that staircase. Which I can't get to from this side. cool and collected I was that time. Didn't freak out even once. Oof, I needed that. Ugh, God damn it. Alright, where is the staircase? Is it down here? supposed to do something specific there or am I just going to drop a block on that? Thank you. 
Yeah, I'm gonna push them all. Now, what I don't have set up right now is my Twitch chat. I should probably do that. streaming for a little over an hour, and I have gotten quite a ways into what was left on Zelda. Note that I still haven't beaten Aghanim. I still have Palace of Darkness to do, and then I can tear through a lot of Metroid. Where's my chat tab? Are you staying in portrait mode? Oh, come on. All right, fine. Anybody who wants to chat me in the Twitch chat, your text will be sideways. Don't care. any of that money, but, you know. Link's gonna have a nice retirement nest egg after he kills Ganon. something on my operating system and uh, almost got a skeleton in the face. Hate it when that happens. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Those guys are infinite. They can't be. Must be, though. Must be infinite, and the devs are just preying on my need to push on all the blocks. About time I got a missile. That's Misery Meyer covered. Oh, and by the way, the thing that uh, you're supposed to use to get into any particular place in the randomizer is also randomized. I believe you're supposed to use ether in vanilla, not quake. I could be wrong. Might be that. Just because I haven't been asked to use it. That's Bombos. Haven't I been? I've been to that cave to the west of Meyer. Finished up the checkerboard cave. All that's left is Palace of Darkness and Ganon's Tower. Palace of Darkness probably has the item. Uh, the last. Uh, call it. Last pendant, which means I could finally go check out the Master Sword pedestal and probably pick up another missile from there. Who knows, might be the Ice Rod though. Um, but I think I'm going to go over to Metroid now. portal up here by the ice cave. Wait. The portal up here by the ice cave is actually over in the uh, dark world. Oops. Well, there's a portal right here. To the dark world. Man, 
then I can just walk around. To get to the portal to Metroid. Dev cave, no farming required. Okay now, seriously this time, this is the portal. Here we are in Meridia, which we're in for the first time and we're already on the wrong side of it. Lock droids, right off the bat. Okay, uh, I'm going to save. I'm going to look at my map. Oh yeah, the map button is different now. Look at this entirely fresh new area to explore. I love it. I've got almost all the items on this side to do it with. The only thing I'm missing is the ice beam, and that's no big. Uh, let me make sure that my HUD is accurate. I have eight energy tanks, I have all four. Okay. Oh, I'm on the wrong side of Bup. Ah, uh, no, I didn't want to get sucked down there. <laughs> uh, fine. Whatever. Bones. And a missile. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, I want to go around to Bob first. I mean, why not? I've got all the items, I can just leisurely explore at my own pace. Oh, yeah. That was a uh, speed run. A speed booster locked area. Oh, I have to use missiles. Fine. I bet I'm missing something obvious, strategy-wise, here. Like maybe screw attack, or... Oh well. That gets me around to the place where I was like, no, I don't want to dry, uh, die yet, fall yet. So I can get this missile. Correctly, you can also fall down to this that side for maps completion's sake. Let's go. Right choice to get some items. Oh, I should remember to actually mark these things off on my Metroid map as I go. Wait. Do I already have the mirror shield? Yeah, it only goes up that high. I already have the mirror shield. Why are there four progressive shield upgrades in this? Oh well. Uh, I'll take a moment to mark off my map on the Metroid side. I am in Meridia. I have gotten this. I have beaten Bob one. Picked up the item next to him. I've not gone toward Dragon yet. I did pick up both of the items up in the big pink room with the speed booster. Uh, there is another item to the right here in the same room. It is 
just a 50 rupee piece, but... Samus was just doing the little, uh, look at me, I'm walking downstairs trick. Am I remembering this right? Yeah, I think I am. Jump is always so hard to control. That's literally the only way that these can be destroyed. Never mind that I've got super missiles that can destroy, you know, basically everything else. This dirt is only deal it only dealt with by a digger dude. exactly as it appears. Thank you. 
some sink in that room. Guess not. Those dudes are little miniature versions of Dragon. It's the big boss of this area. Sorry for the wobbliness on webcam, I just knocked my laptop silly. Okay. So much yet to explore. And also, I feel like there was something up here. Because there is. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember this. need the ice beam to make progress if I have the space jump. I can't imagine how. Couldn't get through that metal door because I haven't beaten Dragon yet. I feel like I'm missing something in this room. Well, let's just keep exploring what I can. Ha! Ah. <laughs> Whoa! And that door is also locked because I haven't beaten Dragon yet. Sucker. I believe this is the way to Dragon. save, and also use that same room. I'm almost out of regular missiles. Not to fear, though. There's a trick to beating Dragon. You don't really have to shoot him so much as you have to let him grab onto you and then grapple beam something. Oh, that's not the way to Dragon. Okay. I'm headed up to Criteria. Oh, 
Well, let's keep exploring up up here. See what's up here. This is one of those ice beam or screw attack uh, space jump locked areas. Help if I can actually hit them. I'm going to take a moment to update my tracker again. Well, I actually haven't picked up anything special here. Hmm. Ah, I'm on the other side of wrecked ship, and there's nothing really particularly special in here for me. Let's just fill out this map, though, because I wasn't able to get this side. I didn't have the gravity boots. Take a look at the map and show you. Basically, that big wide area was the place where I couldn't get through. I didn't have the gravity suit, not boots. And so it was all water-filled and impossible to get through. Which is why that just power bomb locked on me behind me, because normally you're supposed to go through that way. Maybe I can't go through this way at all, so I can't even fill in the map. Cool. We'll come back and uh, do that later then. I don't believe there's actually any items up in that area, but... 100% completion, and that includes maps as far as I'm concerned. If I should beat this game and not come out with 100% at the end, I'm probably going to figure out what I missed, make a little extra stream just so I can find those last bits. I know in these randomizers you're supposed to beat Mother Brain first, and then beat Ganon, but I don't know what happens after you beat Mother Brain. I don't know if you just get tossed back into Link to the Past and then are expected to finish up the job there, or what. down that pipe in the center and then come back up and around finish the rest of Meridia that way and then I believe the path to Dragon is from the center 
of the right from it. So let's do that. Interesting. Will I be able to power bomb the outside of the little area that you're supposed to power bomb to get into Meridia from Criteria? I don't know. Maps don't work. No point in using map points. No, it doesn't matter. You have to be inside. This is what I'm talking about, by the way. This metal tube, can you power bomb it? It takes a second, but then it explodes very satisfyingly. Oh, this actually puts me near enough to Samus' ship that I can uh, make a quick stop out, I believe. Doesn't it? No, this is Brinstar, isn't it? Let me go check. Yeah, it's Brinstar. There's still some stuff to explore in here, but uh, I'm going to continue with Meridia first. The music here is creepy and cool and I love it. This is the kind of music I want to make for my game. Okay, three bombs right there. That requires a speed booster to get through. I believe here, though, does not require anything. That's a hard piece. Oh boy, I'm really stretching my memory. Bah. Oh, my God. 
Sometimes it's just sheer instinct. Like, that is clearly a, a bombable place. Oh, now I'm in that big room with the speed booster bit. I also haven't ever gone in here. There should be two items in here. Problems with Metroid's controller is how sensitive it is to coming out of your um, morph ball or spin uh, via pressing one of the sides. But I just get rupees, and it was something so inconsequential I didn't even notice. But I'm going to mark these off. having a, a hole in the ceiling. It's not this one, the hole's in the floor. So, where does that map go? Right. It's got a little left here. Cool. There's a way to glitch and make it work, but I don't want to waste all my time. Might only work with right-handed doors, too. Ah, uh, this is probably where I bring 
mañana. up to where that speed boost was, start doing some item collection in that general area. Now, if you're wondering why I'm doing this, I'm going to save. This is a pretty tricky bit. You have to run. You have to run. Stop just before the door to save your speed boost. And I missed it. Yep. I waste another missile. So I'm just going to load. And then walk down here. Ah. And I think right about there, where that foreground kelp is, is where you're supposed to speed boost upward. Load. Shoot open that door. <sighs> Load, shoot open the door, run back, and save. Save. Now let's try that again. Bah, just missed it. Ugh. <laughs> Can't imagine how frustrated I was when I was a kid trying that over and over and over again. This at least helps. No. If you get to the door, it seems like you lose it. There we go. Now I'm going to save it. Mama turtle. I love the mama turtle. The little babies. So there's an item up there. probably just space jump, but 
<laughs> it's the net. Ugh, why is it so inconsistent? I'd love for somebody to tell me what the actual rules of the space jump are. And our piece. Okay, let me pause. Mark off the net. Another heart piece. I feel like one of the items that I've forgotten was probably a heart piece. I'll find out next time I go back over to Zelda. And what's my running time right now? I am at... 54. I'll uh, continue a little bit more on Meridia before pausing. Probably have to break for supper. Look at those little guys. They're so cute. This isn't suspicious at all. I'm just going to farm a bit more energy here because I was running a little lower than topped off. And now we are back in blue Brinstar. Good to know. Oh my goodness. Red Brinstar. I was wrong. It just looks blue on the side. Well, I don't really need to be there now, so... Back down I go. I believe there's something down here. Yeah, that is there. Well, cute.
There we go. Crab just walked into that little tunnel like uh, it was your problem, bro. Uh, let me quickly update the map. Because we've done quite a bit just now. up into that giant area, which apparently they call Mount Everest, home of the three points and the gravel across the top. Uh, and I should be going at the top right, exit. do it horizontally just fine, but trying to actually gain some air. I don't know what it is. Something about the space jump just doesn't work for me all that well. And I lose momentum and then fall, and even though I'm still spinning, I'm not allowed to space jump again. Might be that your uh, Y velocity can't be a certain amount. This feels like there's something here. Yes. <laughs> Another heart piece. I love it when, without even looking at a map, I just remember where things are. Alright, is there nothing even down? <laughs> it's like literally just an area to fill up another map square. Meet, make getting to Dragon and beating him my goal for the moment. and just sort of walking around in places I haven't been yet. It might take me a while to get there. Just a hole. Ooh. Heart piece. Silver arrows. All right. Those off. Not sure if I can actually descend from this ring. Don't think I can. 
Well, perhaps I can. Huh. Perhaps I cannot. Descend from here. Think. Think. I'm supposed to go to the right. Nope. Down. Now, this is the area where I'm supposed to be able to get to. Dragon. Looking at my map again. Oh, it's because I did Bot Woon backward. I go back through Bot Woon's area. Yeah. <laughs> 
was too worried about getting that one missile. I forgot about actually exploring the rest of this area. Again, I don't know what the damned rules of the space jump are. But they're a lot easier than doing the gravity beam against the wall. I mean, apparently. So those mock troids are supposed to be metroids, but they're not quite. Now, I don't know if they're like mutated metroids or a weird larval form. But I bet somebody out there in some wiki has probably already figured it out via lore, from deep lore from some, I don't know, console and Metroid Prime Echoes or something. Sure looks dangerous, doesn't it? I'm just gonna really quickly get across here and... Oh, I hope I don't accidentally touch the spikes. Oh no! Get a power bomb. Can't remember if there's anything else in here. I don't think so. But there is something else over here. That's the entrance to where Dragon is. I'm going to save it. God, this music, I love it. A bunch of little baby Dragons. Okay. Super missiles on these guys. Make them stop spitting out sparks. Gravity beam, not gravity, grapple. Yep, yep, you just keep hitting me. It's fine. Electric works in vanilla too. Blew my mind when I found out. I mean, the real way you're supposed to do it is theoretically to shake loose and attack repeatedly and power bomb and missile and. Oh, my God. 
I believe it's possible for the randomizer to decide that you can get out of there with just high jump boots. It's really good wall jumping skills. I don't envy the people who have to do that. Now I should be able to get into the door that is over here. No, you could stand on spikes and x-ray beam. It'll hurt when you stop, but... also gives me access to that one area that's up above here. And that should pretty much do it for Meridia. And then I think I'm going to save and go have supper. And probably come back and stream the remainder of the game. Games. A little later tonight. This room would also be very nasty without the space jump. Possibly impossible without infinite power bombing, infinite morph bombing. 50 rupees. This is the room in Vanilla where you get the space jump. So, in Vanilla, you're not supposed to not be able to get back up here. But, uh... I don't think there'd be anything locking you from getting into that room without it. So it could be a soft lock area. If you didn't have bombs, you didn't have... God, how would you even get in here? I don't know. At any rate, that's the...
entirety of Meridia, done pretty much in one shot. I'll make sure that my tracker is up to date offline. I'm going to save it now, and I'm going to end the stream. Thank you very much for watching once again, and uh, hopefully we'll be finished before time I have to go in for my surgery tomorrow. Take care.